Hey guys, today I want to talk about drum samples. I remember back in the late 80s, early 90s, whenever I heard drum samples, I always hated it because it sounded so artificial. Uh, it sounded like a drum machine, which it kind of was. So my instinct as a drummer, of course, back in those days, I always hated it. I talked to everybody I knew. I'm, I hate drum samples. It's the worst thing that ever happened to mankind. So anyway, as the years goes by, I started to learn about using drum samples to, sound, to triggering reverbs and effects instead of using the mic kit. Because you, you will get much, much cleaner delays and reverbs if you're only using samples. So I started to using that and I said, well, this is actually kind of cool. Uh, so there is a place to use drum samples. However, now, when all the great producers out there and musicians that was there when they're recording the album starting to talk about how it was done. We started to know that a lot of it was drum samples, not only the ones that was obvious that they were drum samples, because the ones that was obvious, they were using it, they were using the drum samples way, way too much. They were taking out, sucking out all of the, the human side of the drum playing and just replacing everything with samples while there was other producers that was just blending in the samples with the ordinary drums. So I have late discovered with a broken heart that some of my favorite albums, they used drum samples, which I didn't know back at the day. One album particularly that hurt me uh, when I discovered that they were using drum samples was actually a left hand path uh, with Entombed. I always loved that drum sound. Uh, together with those massive Shane Guts guitars. I don't know, it was something about that album that just... I can't put words to it. Later on, I discovered that they were using the D-drums, uh, the Wreck version of the D-drums. At that moment, I just had to, okay, who else has been doing this that I didn't know of? So they're kind of 50-50 of the albums that I like that use drum samples. Some didn't use it, some did use it. And it made me question about drum samples is it bad? Is it good? What do I think about it? So I started using drum samples to, to trigger the reverbs, the delay and reverbs, because it's a clean sound, because one snare hit, bang, and then there's nothing more. So you will get a really clean reverb. So I started using that, but I was muting the, the actual sound. I mean, so the sound will only go to, to the reverb and back. But the, 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 sample, the sound of the actual sample, was, it was muted, uh, so it, it didn't go to the, to the master track. However, recently, I started to experiment since I discovered that a lot of great albums that I like using drum samples, I actually started to, to experiment a little bit with this. So, not only have I been sending my drum samples to reverbs, I also have been using drum samples just to get a more in-your-face drum sound, uh, which I actually like when blending in together. However, there's one big thing that's different from a lot of other people that's using drum samples. I actually record my own drum samples. There's a big difference between people that's just throwing in a drum samples on the drum kit uh, than what I am doing, because when I'm recording a drum set, I actually recording drum samples at the same time. I mean, not the whole kit, but I'm, I'm recording samples of the kick and snare. I use the drum samples to send to reverbs, but I also use the drum samples actually in the song. It will bring the drums up much closer. It will get you a much cleaner sound. You can get a much more dry sound from it. Actually, it's not a bad idea. And I mean, if Bob Clearmountain, who's the greatest mixer of all time, if he can mix music with drum samples, well, then so can I and so can you. Use drum samples, but record your own drum samples. If you're gonna call yourself a producer, at least produce your own drum samples. I'm not talking about producing a couple of drum samples and you use it on anything. I'm talking about every fucking production that you record. You record drum samples while you're recording drums. Stop using other people's drum samples. When you're, when you're using other people's drum samples, then you can hear it sounds artificial and strange. But when you're using a drum sample that you have done all by yourself in the recording process, when you recorded the drums that you're gonna use in the, with the drum samples, then it sounds much, much more natural. Then it, it will just, uh, you will get the snare to, to hit 
much much more even every time you get a much much cleaner sound you get a lot more punch we cut through all those guitars so that's just me ranting about drum samples i guess at the moment i'm in the studio and recording and mixing some new stuff i'm having a hard time to find the time to do these youtube things anyway that's me ranting about stuff again please subscribe to this channel because it will help me a lot and if I reach over a thousand subscribers, I will get monetized. And when I get monetized, I will actually uh, be able to get paid a cup of coffee. No, I don't want a cup of coffee because I don't drink coffee, but I drink tea. And I would like to get paid for a cup of tea so I can have the time to sit and talk to you guys. We're at 730 something uh, subscribers today. So please subscribe to my channel. Please hit the like button. Leave a comment if you have anything to say to me. Until next time, have a good life. Goodbye.